I'm sort of a, a, a well-rounded artist. I, you know, I, I, I got the same way I can look at, you know, a Rembrandt. I can also enjoy a Rothko. Uh-huh. Um, but what principles that they bring uh, to the table. And so I think... Um, Which is interesting in a way because you're a figurative painter and yet Rothko is more of an abstract uh, artist, right? I mean, yeah. So that's interesting you say that. Uh, can you help uh, our listeners and viewers um, uh, by explaining what is it about Rothko, for example, or any other uh, abstract artist that you respect that uh, yeah, that, I mean, that you I, take I think, from? Him? I think with, with minimalism and you know uh, some of the abstract artists, even Ed Clark, um, I'll mention. Um, you know, I, I'm usually looking for vibration, and I'm also looking for uh, you know within the minimalist work. What, what is the composition saying? What is it saying to me? And so I think when you're able to use uh, sort of uh, a non-figurative way of speaking to an audience to, to create some sort of vibration or some sort of feeling um, in, a, in a reduced way, you know, because you're stripping away form mm-hmm. um, in, in, in some way. And you are able to then, I think, still get across the, 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 the principles of line uh, texture, um, color, uh, and composition, then I think, I think that ultimately applies to, to you as a, as a figurative artist too. You can take some of those principles in how you see composition and, uh, and how you, uh, break down, uh, a space pictorially, uh, that could better support your work. Mm-hmm.